Yo, what's going on guys? JBH here and welcome back to Project Cars 2 where it's actually been a while since we raced on Project Cars 2 but we're back and we are here at the Long Beach Street Circuit in California for what is a sort of recreation of the IndyCar Grand Prix this weekend at this circuit but before we get into the IndyCar series we're going to do a quick sort of support category race in the IMSA WeatherTech Sports Car Championship. Now for those that don't know uh, what the IMSA series is, it is basically like the European Le Mans series of the United States or similar to the World Endurance Championship. It's basically the old American Le Mans series combined with the, I think it was the Grand Am series they used to call it. Anyway, we've got all three categories today. We've got LMP2, otherwise known as DPI in the United States. We've got GTE, which is otherwise known as GTLM in the United States. And of course, we've got GT3, which is otherwise known as GTD. So without any further ado, we'll jump straight into today's race. It is 25 minutes, so it's a nice sort of quick short sprint to the line, which is a bit weird because I'm basically in a purpose-built endurance car and we're doing a sprint race. So setup-wise, this track could not have been any different to Daytona where we last ran in this car. Basically a Daytona you want as minimal drag and low downforce as possible with the gear set or gear stack, or gear ratio, whatever you want to call it, as sort of long as possible so you can max out the speeds of the car on the high banks of the track in Florida. But here in California we're at a very sort of low speed, high downforce street circuit with walls that will happily greet you at any moment in time. <laughs> and I believe I built a decent stable setup for today's race in the practice session. We did actually manage to qualify second as you can see. But actually the hardest part getting this car set up for this track was the, was the gear ratio. Is it took me forever to sort of get it right and even now I'm still not quite happy with it. But I mean here you want as max sort of torque as possible. You want the car to really pull out of the corners. Whereas uh, of course at Daytona you want to achieve those high speeds with the sort of longer ratios. But anyway we'll sort of finish off the formalities of this formation lap. And we'll be underway. So starting on the, it's, it's weird, it's actually starting on the inside because the main straight is sort of curved, but turn one is a left-hander and it's a very nasty left-hander, but if you can hold it around the outside, you should be alright, so it's, it's be interesting to see where Alexander Rossi chooses to be on the inside of the route, well, if he has a choice, I'm not too sure how it works in any car. Oh god, this corner is so tight, oh, that just saying hello before the race starts. That has got to be one of the tightest corners in world motorsport. Anyway, can't pass the leader for the green light. And we are underway, and we got a wow, well, we got a pair of angry Ligiers behind us. I'm gonna hold it. See if we can have break in. Ah! Got him through the fountain for the first time. Bit of curb there. Decent start there, we got a bit of a gap to second. Oh, okay, why have I got a five second time penalty? I just noticed that. Anyway, we'll try, we'll try and achieve a five second lead then. How that happened, maybe it's a glitch or. I must have totally missed that. Anyway, hopefully we can pull away throughout the race. around here is not fun. So we seem to have been alright in the last sector this weekend, but the second the sector I'm sort of really struggling quite a bit. Can't quite get the flow of those corners right. I didn't do too much practice, but enough to sort of get the car somewhat stable. traction control. Sounds like something out of Star Wars. <laughs> it's going to go to work today, that's for sure. Oh, a bit too hot in there. Ooh. 
Hopefully we can utilize the traffic in the GT3 category. Oh, that's very deep as well. Ow. Thank you. I've got damage on. Lucky we haven't received anything yet. I had two contacts with that guy behind. Something has happened over there. It's going to take me a while to get used to this car on a full fuel load. plus minutes to go but we've had a good first couple of laps I just I think we're gonna have to hope for some luck through traffic to be able to get away from these guys behind we definitely feel like we're gonna have to be a bully at times we are around sort of five to six seconds quicker than the GT3 cars so I'd imagine at some point in this race we're gonna greet them so whether I'm not sure whether we'll drive through the GTLM field GTE. We'll soon find out. Let's we'll go step one. Ow. Lucky in real life that'd be a, my right front would be 50 meters back down the other side of the road. Oh wow, where did what the how did he get what the fuck? <laughs> Big move. Oh, that was nice. Well, he didn't have to leave for long, but <laughs> where did he come from? I didn't think I lost all that much time running wide there, but he just went right, <laughs> right at the inside. I love the first and second sector of this track, it's so cool. This is sort of like the Monaco of, of road courses in the IndyCar series. Not quite as hard, but definitely just as well. As iconic in, in the IndyCar terms. Whoa, hello. Man, this guy behind me is getting antsy now. Bye. Just got to keep getting that last sector right. If I can keep getting that last sector right, then we should be able to hopefully continue to pull away. Traction control sounds so cool in this car. Although it should be, would be better if I couldn't hear it because it means I'd have more grip.
that is one of the GTE cars. So obviously he's had an issue. Right, so now's our chance to pull away because we'll pass him before turn one and they're going to be stuck behind. Pretty consistent. The setup is good, just not quite fast enough to pull away from these guys behind. Alright, so now we're going to come up to the back of the GT3 field. This is we make it or break it. Besides probably the Lamborghini, but 
Lamborghini mean, doesn't count because it just looks good in anything. <laughs> I think, who was it last year? That I think it was Hunter Ray and someone else that crashed Will Power. I can't quite remember. Because there's not enough of a slowdown period for you to sort of jump up the in inside of someone. I was a bit lucky to get up the inside there. lead up to three seconds now Got just over ten minutes remaining Still got almost five seconds to the guy behind. Ten minutes remaining. That was rather close. Okay, let's take this back marker now. Nice and clean. No risk. So the guys behind caught up quite a bit on that last lap. Actually, you know, they don't catch up too much. <coughs> Come on. Really good luck. Pulled away even more that last lap.
Now we're coming through the GTLM field. Got one of the Porsches there. I mean Porsche. Bloody hell, Jason. Forwards. <laughs> a BMW in front of us. That's a bit squirrely. Curve is so much bigger when you hit it. Okay, let's take this back, Marker. Nice and clean now, no risk. Gotta get through these guys without dying. So five minutes to go, probably be four laps or so, maybe three. sort of 20 minutes. <laughs> I knew I was going to get in there eventually. Come on. that curve on turn one was much quicker. This one you can't touch. Can I touch it? Three minutes to go, 3.3 second lead, they're not too far behind. Shit, there's 
starting to catch up behind me now. Two minutes Take the win. Yeehaw! First win of the weekend. First race of the weekend. And it is over. Alright guys, thanks for tuning in. Stay tuned as we're just about to go and run the IndyCar Grand Prix of Long Beach. That'll be a half distance race where we'll be in one of the... Uh, not the new IR18, we'll be in last year's car unfortunately, but it'll still be pretty cool to race the IndyCar. I haven't raced the IndyCar on Project Cars 2 yet, so that should be pretty fun. But no, this is a really good race. Managed to get out to an early lead. Unfortunately, they had a five-second penalty. I'm sort of just ignoring that. I don't quite understand how that happened, but anyway, I'll go back and look at the recording again and see how we got that. Even with five seconds, we still take the win, so fun race. Always love racing endurance cars, especially if it's like an... Wow, that's a DJ without a front end. You know, it's always fun running a endurance race on a street circuit. Not always easy, but yeah, no, that was awesome. All right, guys, thanks again for tuning in. Stay tuned uh, for some more action in a bit, and until next time, I'll catch you later.